Hey, Space Cowgirls and Space Cowboys. It's Baby here again. I'm still here on the ranch and taking care of these amazing, beautiful creatures. Now today I decided I was gonna give them some snacks. So I cut up some apples here. They're organic. They should be pretty good. I heard horses like apples and uh, they do like carrots because I went to this one farm and they had them all cut up for us and we we're going on this tour and they just ate them like they were, well, crack or candy. So uh, let's see if these horses will eat these apples. Hi, babies. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Yep, she likes it. Let's see here. There's my bag. My, bag. my dang girl bag. Ripped open. Oh well. I'll figure it out. Oh, honey. Hello. Well, shit, you dropped it. Let's try another one. Oh, baby. You want an apple? You don't want an apple? She don't want no apples. You do. You're a big fat fatty. I can tell. What's up? Y'all keep dropping them. Is this not the right kind? Hey, your bag. You want an apple? You want to try one? <laughs> you want to try one? Yeah. They're so good. Come here, bag. Come here, bag. Come I don't really care for them too much. That's kind of weird. I thought y'all were supposed to like them. I thought you were supposed to like apples. You want to try one? You want to try one? seem to care for these too much. They're, what do y'all like? Real high maintenance horses or something? They like Granny Smith or, I don't know, sour apples better? Or what is it, Fuji? Ain't the right kind, honey? Hmm. Oh, shit. Let's see if you want something. Oh, see this right here, what this horse is doing? And it's eating this fence. I heard that this is called cribbing. And this is what horses do when they're stressed out. So they start biting on this and I... Here you go, baby. Even though I have them better. Yeah. You know, later I'm gonna be cleaning up some of these stalls out here. Paddocks is what they're called. And uh, cleaning up the horse shit. So uh, that's gonna be real fun, but... Ooh, I know what might help this horse. You know how they heard about the magic mushrooms? I heard that they, they grow on horse shit or is it... Shit, I'm not quite sure, but anyway, maybe I could find one of the magic mushrooms and give it to one of these horses here, and it'd calm them down, you know, and she wouldn't be cribbing as much, eating all this. Because if you look at her poor teeth, she's just got a, she's just chewing the shit out of that fence right there. And she's done it many different places, and I, did they make horsey Xanax? I don't know, but anyway. I'm gonna look for something special for y'all later, and it's gonna be good, and if you're gonna like it a lot, one more apple try it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so it's kind of a winner. Apple. One of these horses likes them more than the others, and she keeps getting the other ones out the way. She's kind of a boss. Bitch mare, I guess you could call her. I'll give her a couple more, and then I... You gotta share with your sisters, honey. Share and share life. Oh, look, one of them's trying to take a bath or something in this water. Or maybe she's just dirtying it all up for her, her sister in here, too, so that she wouldn't drink it, putting her shit all on her hooves in there and, uh, yeah, making it all messy. Is that what she's doing, honey? That's not really nice of her. I'm sorry about that. I'll clean it for you later, I promise. But look at this sweet little baby here. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. Oh, let's see. Maybe this one likes apples. You want an apple, baby? You want to try one? Yeah, kind of maybe not. Oh yeah, you like them. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. So now we're getting ready to do something real exciting. Scoop up horse shit. This thing right here is, I was calling it a shovel earlier, but it ain't a shovel, it's called a rake for some of y'all that do know and don't know. Well, we're about to scoop up some horse shit out in this paddock 
because it's necessary so that the horses don't step in it and also because we can use it as fertilizer. We put it in this little thingy-ma-bob over here and uh, it dispenses it all around the, the paddock and it, it makes the grass grow real green and it's real good for Mother Earth. So uh, here I go with scooping up some horse shit. Okay, there's a little pile right there. This might be a two-handed deal. Lord, never in my life thought I'd be doing this. I ain't doing such a good job one-handed. Well, I'll come back to you and show y'all how to do it the right way. Hey, ladies, what are y'all doing? They know where those apples are inside of there. Hey, ladies. Hello, baby. Yeah, you don't want to eat any of that. Oh, shit. Once again, they're looking for those magic mushrooms. doohickey and pull it down like right there that's what my honey bunny told me to do and then you take this one and uh here and then one well, more step this is very important because if you don't you're not gonna be spraying shit nowhere yeah lift this up apparently we lost it over. in a minute all this horse shit's gonna be flying all over the place and they're everywhere don't ever stand behind that by the way you just shit all in your eyeballs and here we go Ready? Ready? Break. And third. Yeah! Woo! Sometimes you gotta duck down from these trains coming. Ouch! Yeah! A little bit of a hazard. Y'all that horse shit back there flying? That's why you don't want to be standing back there. girls and space cowboys well I think that task went pretty good if I don't say so myself they didn't fuck up nothing and the horse shit got spread evenly yeah so the grass is gonna be real nourished and uh, real edible I guess you could say for these horses I'm gonna give them the proper nutrients that they need now at the end of a hard day's work which it ain't really the end of the day uh, I like to drink something that I told y'all about before it's, it's called this uh, Wellers bourbon, so good, it really is. Now see how the bottle's a little bit uh, empty right now? I have been drinking it, and you don't just have to wait till nighttime to drink it. You can drink it during the day, that's what I've been doing, but um, I have had a few Space Cowboys and Space Cowgirls consume a little bit of this with me the last few days. Y'all ain't seen them though, keep it a secret. <laughs> Yeehaw, y'all. See you in tomorrow, Bill.